Good morning, folks. It is bright and early. About six o'clock. Woke up with the sun. Slept good last night. Oh, getting that nice coffee. Coffee going. Get some breakfast, and then we're gonna get out and do some fishing. Freaking excited. There is basically no wind, so we're gonna hit Mille Lacs today, I think. Um, let's see how that does. Um, just kind of try to figure out what's going on with the smallies. That'll be that'll be an interesting that'll be an interesting run. So yeah, let's uh, let's let's get some fish. Let's get, some, let's get it going. <laughs> All right, well, we made it out on the water. Um, it is like 8.30, so got plenty of time to fish. I'm gonna start off throwing around a little jerk bait. Um, we're kind of fishing, trying to find some rocks and whatnot. Let's see what, what the smallies are gonna be up to this morning. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna start out with a jerk bait. Cam's throwing around a chatter bait or uh, a square ball, ball, square ball at the moment. So we'll see what happens with that. Just kind of try to put a pattern together, keep you guys updated, you know. You know the drill, so yeah, but for now I'm just gonna be throwing around the old vision, see what happens. Well, never mind. Oh. What was that? Oh, fucking walleye. Really? Not a bad one either. Nice. Hang on, I'll grab my phone. Damn, didn't know today was gonna be that. Uh, you can't keep these. No. <laughs> I would if I could. Yeah. I don't even remember what the slot. What is it? Is there a slot? It's like 20 to 21. Yeah. Okay, I'm bringing it home with the first fish of the day. What kind of smallie is that right there? It's a walleye smallie. It's a Walter head right there. Malax doesn't have any walleyes, man. This little walleye in Malax going for a release. He wants to go. A little square bill, huh? Yeah, red square bill for walleyes. Not what I was expecting. What a weird start. <laughs> Looked and I had it like super high, like 14K. And apparently that's good for some things. So. Oh, there's rocks down there. Okay. Well, we're kind of. Oh, off. there we go. Oh, that's a fighter. I don't know what the hell it is. It's head shaking like crazy. This thing's heavy. Yeah, it's not really pulling though. I think I got a pike. Oh no. Oh my. Oh my. I got a smallie. Good one too. It's being followed. There we go. That's the hefty one. No, don't go backwards. All right, let's keep off the surface. That was smart. Uh, I'd say five. I think so. Here we go. Thank you for not stabbing that. Good job. This thing looks like a freaking rock bass. It's so fat. Oh, he was well hooked. 
All right, that was the first cast. Did not take long. You want to clear the scale? There we go. It's probably gonna be my biggest smallie ever. There we go, 513 on the scale. That is confirmed. My smallmouth PB right there. Fat, fat, fat Malax smallmouth, just so wide. I was saying it looks almost like a freaking rock bass, how wide it is, but we're gonna grab some pictures and then get this uh, Big, get this big old toady back in the water. Big, smally, first cast on a, uh, a deep crank. Just gonna get her back in the water. Healthy, freaking giant Malax. Just fills up my hand right there. Freaking green. Oh yes, swims off nicely. Freaking rights, that's what we're here for. Um, the bait. I was using right here. It is a a uh, little bit of a deep diving crankbait right there. Just throwing that. We're about 12 feet of water on top of some rocks. Literally first cast. Made a move and it freaking paid off. This is why we came up and fished this. Yes! That is amazing. My biggest smallie ever. But now it's time to freaking break that and get some even bigger ones. So Let's just freaking get after it. So according to the map, this one tops out in about 10 feet. Trying for that slightly deeper. There we go. This one doesn't feel real big. Yeah, net, because it's crankbait. There we go. Dan's first small of the day. First bass of the trip. Yeah. They get our bag going. Yeah. Oh, good. Back to my jerk bait for a little while. There we go. Yep. You got him? Um, yeah, yeah. He's good for now, though. It's not a bad one. It's definitely smaller than my first one, but bigger than yours. I know that's not really saying much. Oh, he's only got like the back hook. Thank you. Woo -hoo -hoo. Good job on that one. <laughs> That's probably a three right there. Three, three, five. So about what I about what I thought. Nice. Yep, on the old Vision 110, just pulled up, got a little bit shallower on the rock uh, pile. Still nice thick fish, post spawner, you know. Um, and uh, pulled up on this on this um, rock spine that comes out, 
definitely seems to be a bit of a pattern. We're just kind of trying to work through it and figure it out, but yeah, nice fish. All right, put her back in. Chunky, chunky, nice fish. Malax builds these fish different, I tell you. Um, yeah, this one was on the, on the vision, which is it's definitely my biggest fish on this jerk bait so far this, this year trying these things out. But um, yeah, we're putting together a pattern on in the, in on these on these rocks. It's just been kind of tough so far. We haven't haven't caught a fish in a while, but. We'll keep her going and I guess keep you guys updated and see see if we can put something together. If we do, we're gonna slow down and start fishing some slower presentations, but just gonna keep the move and bait stuff going for now. All right, I'm gonna do something. This guy's mine's kind of grinding hard. Okay. I'm going to... There we go. Oh, fuck. Nope. Walter. <laughs> I see what you mean. They look like pike. I know. Come here, bud. Why are we catching Walters in the water? Uh, it could hardly be sunnier. All the traditional wisdom says not here. I'm referring to catching Walters. Yep. Right there. There we go. I haven't caught a walleye in a while. If if um if the slot like that would be a perfect freaking eater right there. Well, if uh if yeah. if you couldn't, but yeah, nice nice walleye, fun times. Something they all love they all love this vision. I love this fish. My predictions, a bunch of schools. You want to start like? Uh, let's start. Careful, there's only rocks here. Clarify for now. Yeah. It's honestly a kind of nice one too. There we go. That took him long enough. Yeah. That was really cool though. Sight fished him. I got him. Yeah, this is maybe, or this is definitely two. Oh, yep, definitely a two pounder right there. Just an old jig right there. Should be number five. Where'd that scale at? 277. No. All right, there we go. Um, just changing things up. Up shallow. Nice fish right there. Uh, 277. So, yeah, a pound or two or two and a, two and three quarters going back. Ooh, excited. Um, had some, had a little bit of trouble getting him to bite. It was kind of weird. It, it only wanted it when it was moving, which is weird. So, I might try changing things up a little bit here in a bit because it, it did not want to hit it when it was just sitting on the bottom wiggling it but uh, on a little uh, um, hair jig right there with a, a Senko tip on the end we're just kind of up in these uh, in these reeds the, uh, the the deep bite was kind of inconsistent so we're just kind of trying some new stuff so we'll keep you guys updated and let you let you know what happens with this quality no so that was really weird so i saw him like a long time ago and i kept trying to get him to eat kept trying to get him to eat he wouldn't eat wouldn't eat wouldn't eat 
and I finally figured it out because I was just bouncing it on the bottom. He didn't want that at all. Like he'd follow it, but he didn't want it. He wanted to chase it. Oh, you're on a rock. Yeah. Oh, ah, damn it, that was a fish. There he is again. Smallmouth? Yep. No. Two pounder probably. Chill out, my man. One nine four. Almost two pounder going back. Not too bad. Good old wacky Cinco. Oh, plenty of these reeds do all around. That's for sure. Is that it? Shit. That was cool. That was a good size one, Matt. Here we go. That was really cool. Five. Oh, I thought you lost him there for a second. This is a Deese. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Deese. This is a kicker. Here we go. That's going to probably be the second bit. That's probably four. That scale's broken. What is he? Three nine four. Three, nine, four. You saved it. Yep. yep. Almost four pounder. Three point nine four. Nice fat fish. Get him back. This one was super cool because I could just see him cruising along. I just cast. He turned around and went for it. Super cool. Let's go get. Some Let's see what we got. What we got for a total. 17 pounds for a total of our bag right now. So. All smallies, no largies. <laughs> No. Maybe, I don't know. It's fighting weird. It feels small though. Ah, uh, no, it's not small. Well, I don't know. It comes in easy and then it runs. Feels heavier now. I haven't got a look at it. Yeah, it's it's not it's not bad. It keeps trying to jump. Yep, it's trying to jump. Ooh. It ain't horrible. Fuck, I'm trying to figure out how to do this for you. Um, uh, I might try to bring it to the front. I don't know. I can't. I don't really have any sort of control over it. I want to keep it away from the motors as well as... That's another five pounder. Mm -hmm. If I can keep it on, I got like one hook in it. Yeah, I'm gonna spin the boat. Not near the motors. If this thing jumps, I'm basically screwed. Yeah, thanks. This will make it easier on both of us. Yeah, that's a good one. They fight so hard here. <laughs> I don't have my drag that light either. Mayfly. Uh, maybe not five pounds. 
No, I don't think it's fire. Thank you. It was one hook, so I wasn't really sure how. Oh yeah. No, that's a three. There we go. Really did fight hard. Um, these deeper fish are definitely chunkier, um, built more, built a lot fatter, but uh, yeah, that was on the jerk bait, just crushed it. Took him forever to bring him in, but oh well. That's a good fish, very good fish. Um, I don't know, this pattern does not make any sense. All right, going back. Nice pot belly fish. Swims off into the deep. Yeah, had a good fight. A lot of fight in that one. Um, I don't know, it's just been so freaking tough recently. Um, we think we figure it out and then we don't. And then we're like, I mean, we're literally like, oh, we're gonna leave this spot. And then we catch two fish. So I don't know, we're gonna do some more. We're gonna definitely try some more shallow stuff, but I mean, we can't really leave when you, uh, when you get that. So by the way, our total is up to 1895. So pretty good friggin' bag. We're gonna try to we're trying to get over 20, but we'll see. We'll see if that happens. But for now I think we're just gonna keep fishing deep a little bit. Small mouth. <laughs> it's not a real big one. Just when we think we hadn't figured it out. I'm not going to measure him. He's not bigger than 277. Kill thyself, my friend. Not a bad one, though. Bye-bye, mister. <laughs> yeah, it's like pea gravel. Not quite pea gravel. Class 5. That's definitely a first. We've seen yet. Yeah, like you said, it, it's different. I don't think it's a good different, <laughs> but we'll see. Maybe not. Are you f***ing kidding me? Is it big? I don't, I don't know what I have. It, it little, legitimately hit it when I was, it, like, it hit it and ran when I was, like, adjusting my reel. And it's gonna jump. I'll try to come up to the front right now. It's not very big. I think it's a. I think it's a, a pike, honestly. It's a weird spot for a pike. Uh, it's heavy. Holy fuck! No, it's a smallie. Big one. Wait, no, is that a walleye? I can't tell. No, uh, it's smallie. Yeah, it's smallie. Not a real big one. No. Is that maybe upgrade? No, I don't think so. Well, that was risky. What's our smallest? Um, three something. No, two. Wait. Do we have a... Do we get rid of the 277? Uh, no, we got rid of the 255. Okay. So I think we have a 277. This will beat it. This will beat a two. Yeah, this isn't going to be a pound upgrade, though. No. There we go. Nice one. I think you were literally saying that. Like, it'll I be want on camera. video. You want a camera? Yes. All right, well, let's see. It feel, it's definitely a three, at least. All right, we got ourselves a kicker. Kicked out the last two pounder in our bag, which means our total bag weight. 19.64. We're so close. We're so close to uh, to 20 pounds with uh, with that one right there. It was a weird bite. Just send her back. 
it was a weird bite because it Woo, that felt good actually. Um, it was a weird bite because I was like, I was messing with something and it came along and hit it. And it was very similar to like how it, it, they hit a stick bait or something. Like it just grabbed it and ran. Um, so I thought it was a pike, but yeah, we legitimately keep saying this. We, we fish um, out on these like 12 foot reefs and we're like, all right, all right, all right. We catch like two fish and we're like, oh, this is obviously working. And then we fish it and for like two hours, nothing. And then we catch some nice fish. So I don't know, we're gonna, I'm gonna say this, we're gonna keep going and then we're gonna not catch any for two hours. So I don't freaking know what's going on, but time check, it's four o'clock. We got a couple, we got a couple hours of fishing left or like an hour and a half. So we'll try to keep piecing something together. Maybe try shell. I don't freaking know. I'm not, I'm done, I'm done trying to explain what the hell's going on here. <laughs> that was the weirdest hit ever. Well, that'll about do it. Um, done for the day, ended up with 19.64. Amazing bag, probably our best ever. Caught my freaking PB. So, we're gonna talk more when we get back to the, uh, the old campsite. Uh, but, what an awesome day of fishing. Not many fish, but quality freaking fish, so. Yeah, let's put this boat on the trail and get back. All right, y'all. Made it back to the campsite. If I look freaking like crap, it's because I'm very tired. Um, I, I don't know. But we're going to get the fire going, get some freaking burgers cooked, and uh, eat some food, and then we'll recap the day while we're eating. So. It's time for grub. Folks, we are back and about to just crush these burgers, but pretty good day. Uh, it was a slow day, uh, but we kind of had to figure out what was going on. And the reality of the situation is we really didn't. Mm -hmm. um, everything kind of worked and nothing really worked like we thought it was gonna. But, um, or it did work but it was just so inconsistent that we struggled to kind of put a pattern together that worked quickly. So as you can see, the like the 10 foot um, rock structure worked and then the um, shallow stuff worked. Obviously the rocks was a little bit better even though we saw some bigger fish. I don't know. We're gonna definitely give it a better send tomorrow, but um, yeah. So that will be the next video after this. So stay tuned for that, I guess. Um, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll catch you next time. But we're gonna catch out of here and freaking pound this food because we are hungry.